Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Shirley Michelle, aka Curls by Shirls. Today I'm going to give myself a trim. Um, I'm not really sure how this is going to go. I'm going to try a different technique than what I did in my two previous haircut videos. And I'm actually going to try to keep as much of my length as possible. I really am trying just to give myself a little bit of a trim and perhaps maybe a little bit more fullness. Maybe I'll do a little bit of a fringe bang. Not really sure. I guess you already know how it came out based on the cover picture of my video. So, you know, I'll kind of try to explain it to you as I'm doing it and why I'm doing what I'm doing. Again, no experience in cutting hair other than cutting my own, my fiancés, my brothers, my dads, and my grandmas. So, oh, and my mom's now. So, none of them have curly hair. So, my fiancé has curly hair, but it's really short. Um, my dad, I guess, probably has curly hair if he were to let it grow. I'm not sure, but it's also short. Anyway, so no experience. I'm just going to try it out, see how it goes. Most of this video is just going to be me doing a voiceover because I feel like if I'm talking through it, I'm going to take forever. So I'm just going to try to do it quickly. And then later on, I'll edit it in and tell you why I'm doing what I'm doing or try to remember why I did what I did. We'll see how it goes. So my hair is washed. So I'm just going to re-wet it a little bit because it's been a while. What am I doing talking through this? I just said it's going to be a voiceover. <sighs> Before I begin telling you what I'm doing, I just want to let you know that this haircut actually happened, I believe it was February of this year, 2021. And I am now doing this voiceover in December 2021 so it's been a really long time I actually haven't cut my hair ever since not even a trim and so I'm probably gonna post another haircut video really soon because it's about that time anyway I've had a lot of comments on my previous videos about how you know curly hair should only be cut while it's dry and blah 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 I know that I know that a lot of people prefer cutting their hair curly hair while it is dry However, this is just my preference. It's easier for me to do it this way. Maybe someday I'll do a dry cut video. Who knows? Right now, what I'm doing is just making sure my hair is wet and detangled. I parted it down the middle and I made sure to, you know, comb it all the way through so that it is kind of stretched out. Now, I changed my shirt so you can see better what I'm doing. And I'm, again, re-wetting my hair because for me, it's just easier to work with my hair that way. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking a small section from the back at the bottom and I'm going to repeat this on the other side. I want to take about the exact same amount of hair. For me, you know, I'm not a perfectionist when it comes to cutting my hair. I actually don't even have a mirror in front of me. I'm doing this with a tiny little screen of my camera, which like I realized like midway through that like why, <laughs> why am I doing it with this tiny little screen? I should have brought a mirror in here. But I was too lazy to go get a mirror at this point. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling my hair straight down. So this layer, I'm cutting it all the way down, right? So straight down. And I'm only going to cut a small amount of hair. You're going to see exactly how much hair I cut. It's a tiny bit because I really just want a trim. And I'm trying to preserve my length here. So I'm cutting a small little bit. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. By the way, um, this whole time that I've been away from YouTube, uh, I've also taken a really long break from Instagram a couple of times. This year has just been really hectic for me. Um, a lot has happened. Uh, in the beginning, you heard me talking about my fiance. Well, he's now my husband. Um, in this video, I'm actually pregnant, but you know, I wasn't telling anybody yet. And so now I have two girls instead of just the one. And, you know, some other not-so-happy um, things happened this year for me. Um, but now I'm back to social media, hopefully more consistently this time. I'm currently on my maternity leave, so I do have a little bit of time. You know, not so much because I still do have two daughters. <laughs> um, but anyway, right now I'm just checking to see if the lengths that I cut on each side is about the same. And it looks like I was satisfied with whatever I cut because they feel like they're about the same length. Now I'm taking another section of hair and I'm going to repeat this again on the other side. Now, what I'm trying to do here and like my thought process behind this is to kind of make the layers, not I'm sorry, make the angle at which I'm cutting 
at which I'm stretching out my hair as I'm combing it, like slightly more up with each section. So for instance, the first layer I cut, I pulled my hair straight down, and now this section I'm cutting, I'm pulling the hair outward. And that way, as I go on and on, the layers become shorter and shorter, and you know, my thought process is that it will create that like fuller, rounder look. And I think it kind of worked. I mean, if you see, look at this, there's like a little bit of a difference between the first section and the second section. Now, I'm using my first section or the previous section that I cut as a guide. So right now you see I'm taking my, my next section, but I'm also going to take a little piece of the previous section into it so that I can see you know, what the length that I'm trying to achieve is. So as you can see, I'm taking not just the section that I just parted, but also a little bit of the hair from the previous section. Now it's kind of difficult for me to find the guide. And as you can see, I'm kind of struggling to find where is that little section of hair that's supposed to be a little bit shorter than the rest that's showing me at what length I'm supposed to cut this section. So you see I'm struggling a little bit, but eventually I do find it. And there it is, that little piece of hair on the left. That, nope, I didn't find it yet. That little piece right there, that is my guide. So I'm gonna cut the rest of it at the same length as that. However, it's really important when you are cutting this section that you are making sure you're pulling it outward as you line up the hairs, because when I cut it, it was at the same length, but now that I'm pulling it down, the section that I just cut is still shorter than the previous section. I hope this is making sense because I'm trying to make sense, but I don't know if it actually makes sense. So now I'm gonna just repeat that same thing. I'm gonna cut each section at a slightly higher angle than the previous section using a little piece of the previous section as a guide. Okay, so <laughs> funny story, it is now February 24th of 2023, um, so yeah, I, I believe I said that the video that I, you know, this video was filmed in February 2021, so it's literally been two years that it's just been sitting in my iMovie and I haven't done anything with it. So let me see if I can figure out what I was doing two years ago when I cut my hair um, so that I could continue to narrate and pick up where I left off. Hopefully I will end up posting this today, um, even though it's like 11 p.m., but whatever. So what I'm doing still is I'm taking a piece of the previous section and using it as a guide to cut the next section moving upward and each section that I move upward is going to be cut at a slightly higher angle um so I think the, the section that I just cut was more of like a uh, like a 180 if you're talking about like angles perpendicular to the floor I mean I don't know I don't know how to explain it like it was just straight across, okay? If you're using me as a reference point, the hair was cut at a 90 degree angle um, from my body. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna continue that process. Looks like I'm taking another section of hair and I'm cutting this section slightly more upward. Um, or at least I'm trying to. It gets a little bit challenging at this point um my arms are starting to get tired so <laughs> that's what you're seeing here and i don't know what's happening it looks like i'm cutting it straight down and, and i'm not supposed to be doing that like so you see it's not like a perfect thing but my whole thought process was to cut it at a um, higher angle all right well at this point it looks like i'm pretty much just doing that same thing over and over again where i'm using that previous section as a guide and I'm trying to cut the next section at a slightly more elevated angle 
uh, pointed closer towards the ceiling each time. Um, and after each, each section, I'm also stopping to make sure that each, um, both sides of my head are pretty even. Um, and if it isn't, then I'll go back and cut a little bit more from one side if it is a little bit longer than it should be. Um, so I'm going to stop talking at this point. It looks like I'm pretty much doing the same thing over and over again. You see this section looks like it's going more of a um, higher up rather than straight out. And that was my whole thought process to make it like a more rounded look is that each section is going to be sort of like a clock. You know, like we're starting all the way down at 6 o'clock. I'm sorry, at, at the number 6. Um, and then each section we're like fanning out until we reach the 12 on the clock. Uh, I hope that makes sense. Again, this was filmed two years ago. Started the voiceover. Uh, actually, it was filmed longer than two years ago. Anyway, I digress. So I'm going to stop talking now for real, and I'm going to see where I can um, just chime in again if it is something that is being done that is a little bit different. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm taking about like half of, like if you were to do like a half up, half down, I'm taking that whole top half and I'm just going to like sort of bunch it all together and comb it together. I'm, I'm going to re-wet it because it is dry at this point. I'm bunching it all together and I'm looking to see how uneven it is and if there's any way to kind of just even it like <laughs> super quickly. Like you see that it's pretty uneven so I'm just going to chop off like a bunch of it to just make it as even as possible. And then as I move on, I'm going to start to take sections away from this big chunk. So I'm going to take a little bit from the left, a little bit from the right, and I'm going to leave it down. And I'm going to do this again, but with the innermost sections closer to the top of my head. You'll see what I mean. So I took away some of the hair and now I'm doing this again with a smaller section and I'm just making sure that it's even, um, just this section, this little patch of hair closer to the middle and I'm taking away even more hair and I'm going to do it again and each time I'm doing it I am probably cutting off a little bit more hair um, than I probably have to and in this way I'm kind of just ensuring that my layers are, you know, layering enough. <laughs> All right, uh, I think I'm done with my voiceovers. Okay, I guess I wasn't done with my voiceovers. At this point, I decided to do a little bit of a bang. I took a section and I'm twisting it. That way, it's kind of like a curtain bang where the middle is a little bit shorter than the outside. Um, at least that's what it's supposed to do. And now I'm going to just kind of um, blend it in with the rest of my hair. So I'm taking a little bit more from the sides and I'm going to just add an angle, cut to make sure that they kind of just blend in a little bit more rather than just being like very abrupt, you know, so much shorter than the rest of it, just random, you know. So just uh, seeing where to cut here. I'm really not being perfect about this at all. I'm just kind of just going with it and I'm cutting this at an angle so that it is shorter when it's closer to the bang and 
longer so that it blends in with the rest on the other side of that piece of hair. Okay, so I'm doing it again over here, I'm just cutting at an angle and praying for the best. Now here I am just double, triple, quadruple checking to make sure that I did cut my hair evenly and it isn't like super long on one side and like super short on the other, making sure that these sections match up. And now for the final results. Here it is. I feel like my hair wasn't fully dry yet in this picture. Um, maybe it was, I can't remember. But there you have it. I have like super drastic layering. You see there's very short layers towards the top and it gets much longer at the bottom. I do have a very like subtle bang there. It isn't super short. Um, I do have a little bit of haircut shock so it's not like perfect right now. You can see like the ends are a little bit like weird. Well, there you have it, styling for volume. So you won't see much definition here, but I kind of like it like that. See you next time. Thanks for stopping by.